again on the stage as we present the first award, which is the Eastern Eye Award for the Arts. Now, if I can ask you to do the honours, you shall come back, and now you get your own auto cue. Oh, do you know I've never used an auto cue? <laughs> actually, I'm being frivolous, and actually, this is a big award, and the person who's won it thoroughly deserves it, so I'm going to be serious, because the Eastern Eye Award for the Arts is presented to an individual, a curator, or an exhibition working through the medium of painting, photography, or mixed media. Now, I think there's going to be a voice The over. nominees for the Eastern Eye Award for the Arts are Akash Pat for his landscapes and portrait paintings, Natasha Kumar for her Rajasthan paintings, and Shanti Punchal for his remarkable watercolours. And the winner of the Eastern Eye Award for the Arts 2016 is Shanti Punchal. Charles has a voluminous body of work that stretches over four decades and is undoubtedly one of the foremost artists to emerge from India. He came to Britain on a British Council scholarship and studied at the Bayam Shaw School of Art in London and went on to become artist in residence of the British Museum between 1994 and 2000. He is the winner of the Ruth Borchard Self-Portrait Prize and he showed at last year's Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Training at the famous JJ School of Art in Mumbai, he is famed for his very individual, some would say, idiosyncratic watercolour style. My name is Shanti Panchal. I'm an artist, painter. That's a wonderful. Uh, it's a brilliant that uh, you, uh, somebody is actually thinking of you and being nominated as an artist. Uh, normally, you spend all your time in a studio, uh, working mainly obsessively on your painting. So it's it's a brilliant uh, achievement. I have been working since I was ten years old. Uh, I've always wanted to paint. So. But it's a long journey. Um, I left home when I was 14, run away to Mumbai and educated myself and went to art school. I taught in art college and eventually I came as a British Council scholar to study here. And uh, I studied here for two years, went back, came back. I think it's very profound, uh, particularly um, uh, ancient um, artists contributing the, the British way of life um, and also uh, I also work with a lot of schools and colleges. I uh, also work with the National Portrait Gallery with 19-year-olds. So I think it's really wonderful that um, an artist come from different background and have a totally uh, different uh, you know, outlook towards art. And I think uh, a lot of young people respond pretty good in that sense because, of course, you need a diversity. And therefore, it, it becomes more exciting and more, you know, diverse. I think Asian painters, there are a lot of young people are so talented. Unfortunately, still there is a heavy weighted, the kind of parents wanting them to become a doctor or a counter. But funny, because I work a lot of high school as well with A-level st uh, students and projects like that, and I really feel some kids are so good. I did a project, for example, about in Wembley High School, and their work actually was exhibited in Tate Modern, and they have even met uh, Anish Kapoor, and <laughs> which we just said earlier. And uh, it's, it's a, that kind of, uh, you know, talent we have. And unfortunately, a lot of kids um, giving up uh, those talents and passion for, you know, what is normally expected from Asian background. 